got me another Italian girl. <laughs> she has long hair and she wants it to be red. <laughs> and she wants to look long. It's a terrible mess how they cut her hair because it's a bit of bob on a long line. I will change that so she gets the feeling that it is longer but it's looking good, feminine and sexy. <laughs> Will you tell some, something to the Italian people? In Italian? Yeah. Okay. Hi, sono Cristina, italiana di Roma e sono qui perché adoro Teo e vorrei avere un colore di capelli più, più rosso, forte e sexy e dare un senso ai miei capelli. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> okay. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Been there, Rob. I know what you do. Oh, oh something strange. No, it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> when you want to to go uh, working with your smartphone, you can still work when you are at the hairdressers. I don't like it at all. I don't like smartphones. <laughs> I need some protection, of course. I start with the haircut. We'll do it with um, a hot razor and bring some more layers in the front. Then I will color her hair to a wonderful rover red, rover hair red color. There's now we're laying a lot of weight on the front, so it's just like her head bent to the front, and the back is uh, medium long. That I'll show you in a minute. I'm going to take this part a lot more layers in it, so it connects to the back and now you see that this is a bob on top of a longer layer so it ends here and I don't want that. She has wonderful waves in her hair so that I love and that I'm going to try to get out of it. So it gets more wavy but still can wear it smooth. Okay start at the front. I have a lot of hair on the front there's nothing of layers in it so I just bring in the shape. What I always tell, you can see on the fall of the hair where the, the, the structure of her skull is. So I can see how it moves and that I'm going to copy into her hair lines. So I take away of this length to the front, a lot of length so I get more movement at the back and her hair looks longer. This razor is 180 to 190 degrees Celsius, so she don't feel anything pulling or it just smoothly goes through the hair. Lay the hair in the roundness, so it, you can see that it feels like it should be. Use the skull as a guide. This is a part from the back that lays here. Now I take it to the front and connect it in the line that it should have. The nice thing about cutting with a hot razor or a knife is that your hair feels sexy afterwards. The ends are sealed, soft, hold all the strength into your hair. And it grows faster because it don't get damaged the time you wear it. She let her stay on the length I have on the back. But now I already have a much more nicer hair fall. And something she can still wear on the tail. Do the same on this side. Pin away some hair. Watch how the structure of her skull is. And the same lines I cut her hair.
finding my way to the back because there is the length I still want. Don't take off anything of the back length. Take a new layer on it and work my way back to get all the center of Take all the hairs to the front and over the center of the skull I connect them to the front on both sides. So I take the left part and it here and take the right part and end it there. Can bring some effect in it, just a little bit. So all the thickness is the same at the front. Now only have to do the small parts on the back. At the center of the back I watch how the hair is and I take off only a small part of it. Just to seal the ends. Watch if there's still hair hanging over it. I don't think so because it was a bob laying on top of longer hair. So that I take off by taking a thinning a little bit out of the ends so it get a better fall into the hair. also on both sides. And now it's time to color. I made my color. I made the Rover 6666 <laughs> <laughs> with deep conditioner and uh, on 6% uh, base as 20 volume. Start on top and work my way down. Totally ammonia free. Okay, now the, all the color is on, so I just comb the hair back to the position where it lays. You can see already that the red is working. And the hair takes a lot of color into it because it has a conditioner, so you can feel it. It goes into it deep. This I put on the warmer for 20 minutes and then I rinse it out and I'll be back to you in about a half hour to show you the finishing of this hairstyle. Okay we're back from coloring and you see how nice red it is. I put on a foam of rove hair and I start to blow dry it from the back side up to the front with a large brush. Does it look sexy? <laughs> Very sexy. And now you also have the feeling that you have longer hair. Because the, the weight of your hair is laying in the other direction. And that, that's why it looks longer. For so far blow drying, and what I need myself now is a nice polish, so I'm going to look for it. I've found me my uh, wonderful product of Lanza, it's a serum. The serum I bring on the hair, it brings out even more the colors. I don't use anything of uh, hairspray or something like that on it because that only damages the hair. I gave her a red condition to support her color at home. And I think this young Italian woman looks hot and sexy. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, my love. I love it. Wonderful job. That's okay, my love. Well, you turn for you and the rest of the world to show what your hair is now. It looks like shiny hair. <laughs> How does it feel? Well, I love it. Yes, that feels sexy. Thank you for modeling for me. Thank you so much. Okay.